What's up everyone, welcome back to another Lightroom tutorial and today we are working with a really strong orange and teal color grade that also has quite a bit of contrast in it. So if you guys like the look of this, you can go give him a follow down in the description, be putting his links down there. And if you also really like this style, you can check out his presets here. And I'll also be putting a link to these down in the description if you guys want to come and have a further look. So back to Instagram. We are going to be working with this image right here, trying to recreate this awesome, uh, strong orange and teal color grade. So, let's get into Lightroom, see what we can do. Here we have the edited image from his Instagram and the raw unedited file. So first thing, I'm going to show you the cropping. We've cropped in quite a bit there, 4x5 for Instagram. Coming back, and first thing I'm going to do, bring up some exposure and add in quite a bit of warmth right so as you can see our image is looking pretty flat so contrast uh, we look a little too bright up here so highlights coming down And our image looks like it has too many shadows. It's in the shade sort of look. So we want to really brighten it up with bringing up the shadows. And now our whites are far too bright. If you look at the brightest areas, bringing them down. And we don't quite have enough contrast. So bringing the blacks down. As you can see, we've got some pretty dark blacks in the edited image. But I'm not going to go all the way down with the blacks. I'm going to leave a little room to add in contrast with the curves. Because when you do S-curves, it adds in quite a bit of contrast when you do that. So I'm going to leave a little bit of room for some extra contrast in there. And I'm just going to bring down the saturation a little because when you do the curves, when you add in contrast, it quite often adds in a bit of extra saturation. So, we don't need to do a curve with this one here, because our blacks are very true black. Usually you'd put a little bit of a fade in there by lifting this up a bit, and keeping those shadows down. For a bit of a fade in those blacks, but we want true blacks so we're not going to worry about putting a fade in that curve. And we're just going to do an S curve in red, green, and blue channel. So if you don't know how this works, you've got your blacks down here. You've got your shadows. You've got your midtones, highlights, and whites. So say you wanted less red in your whites or your brightest areas. You'd grab this point here and drag it down. Now you're taking red out of those areas, out of the whites. And now you're left with a bluey green look because that's all that's left. You've got the green and the blues in there. And you're taking red out. And this is adding blue, uh, red in. So it gives you a lot of control and flexibility. Say if you wanted red just in the mid-tones, just in the skin tones. You can do that by just bringing it up there. And yeah, you, it gives you a lot of flexibility and power. And when you do an S-curve with each of the channels, it just adds in a really nice color contrast and gives really nice deep colors. So that's what we're going to do. S-curve in each of those. And let's get into it. Okay, so that's the curves done. Here's the before and after of just the curves. So quite a bit more saturation and contrast added in there, especially to those mid-tones. So we're going to be moving on to HSL. 
trying to match up these colors a little more. So these reds, a little more orange. These oranges can be a little more red, just a bit. And we've got quite a few yellows in here. And I think a lot of them can be really warmed up towards an orange. Greens. Yellows quite often affect the greens. So sometimes if you're really warming up your orange, uh, yellows, it's a good idea to make your greens a little more green. So they stay true green aquas got a lot of teals going on same with the blues a lot of teals if you look down here And saturation looks pretty good. Come down to luminance, so the brightness of a lot of these colors. And I'm going to bring down the luminance of the reds. And that gives a real deepness to a lot of those colors. Deep reds. I'm going to do the same with the oranges a little. Looks nice and deep. Not many greens, not many aquas. Not a lot of purples. So, moving on, I think our color's looking pretty good. Sharpening can stay about there. And we can add in a bit of texture into this. So, adding in some grain. And then slightly bigger. And roughness. So that gives the skin tones and the rest of the image a little bit of uh, texture. So now we are pretty good with most of it. I think now we need to come in with a brush and filters to help emphasize some of the areas so the very first brush I'm going to do is going to be for the eyes so brush tool let's zoom in and for this I pretty much just want to brighten the whole eye in general So if you just now click off the masking, exposure, and we have added a lot of warmth into this image, if you can remember. So it's kind of affecting the whites a little too much. So we need to add in a coolness to get some of that back. See how that looks. Looks a lot better. Maybe a little too much. And now we want to do another brush for the eyes. But we're just going to be focusing around here. Bringing up exposure. And putting in a lot of blues. 
to get that real nice teal and orange look between the eyes and skin. See how that looks. And for the entire image, I might just darken the blacks a tad. It might be a little better. Right, so as you can see, the background, we have a lot of teals back here and a lot of warmth over there. So we are going to grab another brush. Bracket key, make your brush nice and big. Let's turn on masking. So you can see we were brushing. Just brush this entire bit around here. Turn off brushing and we are gonna try to get these teals like this image in there. So you can do that by adding in a lot of uh, coolness and then we look a little too teal the blues the blues don't they look a little too teal then in this image we want them to look a tad more purple so adding in some purple you get them a touch closer And then we just need more of it, so I'm going to bump up the saturation. And I might just lift the blacks a bit. Maybe exposure. Okay, so we want to do the same for the other side. So, new brush, chuck masking on while we brush, and just doing pretty much everywhere in this area. So we're sort of doing the same, just the other way around. Adding in a lot of warmth there. Saturation can come up a lot. And since 
ours looks a little too yellow we want it to be a bit more of a red if you add purple in there or we'll add a bit more of a darkening and you can also do this if you wanted to add a color you can come down here and pick a color and saturation to add in but you can do it that way or you can just try if you click on here and say duplicate it's going to make everything twice as whatever you just brushed on which really helps it almost got us our colors and then actually and then just bring down the saturation of that second duplicate and then another brush maybe all over these darker areas pretty much just doing the same Just want try a touch of red in there. We'll just probably keep it like that. Hopefully you guys get the idea. And yeah, I think that is looking pretty close. Uh Yeah, I might just keep it there, guys. Looks close. Hopefully you guys learned something, sort of get the picture, get the gist. Maybe pull back on the blacks a tad. Uh, maybe a touch more on the highlights. Or maybe the shadows. Um, no, I think I might just leave it there, guys. It's looking pretty good, pretty close. If you guys want to check out his presets, I'll be putting a link down in the description for you guys. So check them out if you like his style. And yeah, comment down below who you guys want to see. That way I, I go and reach out to them on Instagram. I ask them to send in a photo and then hopefully do a tutorial on them. And yeah, comment what you comment what you guys like about these videos so I can improve and help to improve teaching you guys. And yeah, I will be catching you guys in the next one.